And her dad said, son, have her home on time. And promise me you'll never leave her side. He took her to a show in town. And he was ten feet off the ground as he was walking her home. Holding her hand. Who gets this bride? You can kiss her on the cheek. Friends and family, you may be seated. <laughs> All right, Tracy. Come on over here and place your flowers. And uh, James, come on in. And hold Tracy's hands and act like you like each other. <laughs> wow, December 18th, 2019, here in beautiful Las Vegas. James and Tracy... Marriage is a holy union between two people, but I'm sure by now after 10 years you've learned that it wasn't about that document that was filed with the county of Ohio, I believe, when you got married. Was it Ohio? Pennsylvania. 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 Okay. <laughs> so I'm sure you learned that it wasn't that document that kept your marriage together. In fact, that piece of paper doesn't even require you to show up. But you made a choice that day, and you said, I choose you for better, for worse forever. And so today as we go through your ceremony and we go through your vows again and we talk about all the wonderful things that brought you here again and help to renew this fire, the embers on the fire, we're going to make those embers come alive again. And so um, in doing so, my favorite part of performing a marriage ceremony is to tell your story because that's how we got here. And James and Tracy, I'm told that Many years ago that you met um, and had your first date in Cambridge, Ohio, and you saw a movie called Australia, and in that movie theater some sparks flew. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are today. You have a beautiful blended family, um, your children Gavin, Vision, Anna, Emily, and your four-legged friend Anakin. I don't like to leave your dog out because we know that our animals are just like our family. They are family. James, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish her in good times and bad, to keep her in sickness and in health for as long as you both shall live? If so, would you please say, I do. I do. And Tracy, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish him in good times and bad, to keep him in sickness and in health for as long as you both shall live? If so, would you please say, I do. I do. Now I want you both to think back to the very first time not the naughty time, but the very first time <laughs> that your heart ever skipped a beat and you took that breath of fresh air in your lungs and you said, yes, this is my forever love. And I can't wait to share my life with you. And I can't wait to run into my forever with you. And we're here because of love. This city will always be remembered to you as the city of love. Love is an incredible thing that happens to our hearts. And once we find that person that completes us, there's nothing greater. Love has been talked about and written about since the very beginning of time. By every great thinker, philosopher, prophet, and leader, it is love that makes the world go round. Now, you're both Christians, and I know that you understand what 1 Corinthians says about love. It says it's patient and kind. It's not envious or boastful. It doesn't dishonor. It's not self-seeking or easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. It protects and trusts and hopes and never fails and never gives up, nor should the two of you. Now, a couple of books um, earlier, um, actually, it's later. I'm going to skip to James. In James, it says, in this world, you will have difficulty. It doesn't say you might have difficulty. You could possibly have difficulty. It says, in this world, you're going to have problems. However, when you find love, and you have love as the glue that holds everything together, somehow those problems seem a little smaller. Now, we know that as you look out the window from your house and you see those clouds rolling in, and you see the storm is about to rage on and the rains beat down on your house, I want you to, the next time you are about to embrace the storm, take each other by the hand, open the door, go outside and dance in the rain. For that is the beauty of love. Now, let's talk about your anniversary. 
which is cute. And these rings. These rings are beautiful because they're a perfect circle with no beginning and no end. And every year on this day, although you've already had 10 years, you get to start over today. You get to start a brand new 11th year. It's got a one in it, so it's gonna feel like the first year all over again. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, James, I want you to take that ring and place that on Tracy's left ring finger. Place that ring first, and then this one. And repeat after me, I, James. I, James. Give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. You may place the ring on her finger, and then put this one on and say this. And every time you look down on your beautiful hand. And every time you look down on your beautiful hand. I hope you will always think of me. I hope you will always think of me. There you are. All right, Tracy, take that and put that on James's left ring finger. And repeat after me, I, Tracy. I, Tracy. Give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And every time you look down at your hand. And every time you look down at your hand. You better have that ring on. <laughs> you better have that ring on. <laughs> okay, you may place the ring on his finger. <laughs> now, I know you know this, but I want to just refresh your memory. When you have a happy spouse... You have a happy house. Mm -hmm. Keep love in your hearts and peace in your home, and your marriage will live forever. I want you to repeat after me to each other. These are the hands. These are, these the, are hands the hands that will hold your heart forever. That will, that will hold, hold your heart, heart forever. forever. I vow to be loyal. I vow to be loyal and loving to you. And, and loving, loving to you. Add comedy to our conversations. Add, Add comedy, comedy to, to our, our conversations. conversations. And put you first. And put you first. No matter what. No, no matter, matter what. what. And remain. And, and remain as smoking hot. As smoking hot. hot. As I am right now. As, as I, I am <laughs> right now. <laughs> by the power invested in me by the state of Nevada, I now repronounce you, husband and wife. James, you can kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Paratino. All right. Walk out towards Scott. You guys can do better than that. Mr. and Mrs. Paratino. Yay.